So I cut off all my hair, and I'm now living in this world where if I don't shower in the morning, I get to look like this. So if you're like me and you've got a home studio and you've got an Apollo or maybe even a couple Apollos, I wanted to share with you a couple cool things that I'm doing to completely maximize my Apollo interface setup. All right, so first let me explain. I'm using two interfaces, right? I started with the Apollo X8P, which has essentially 16 channels of inputs and outputs. Now you have eight built-in mic pre's and then you also have eight line-ins via db25 but there's also an expanded eight channels of adat line input so i started with the apollo x8p back in 2018 since then i've added some external preamps and some external outboard gear so i added in the apollo x16 interface which is just conversion so you have 16 channels of line inputs and outputs which is awesome. My initial thinking was I'll do external mic pre's and maybe some upward gear that I can insert on some of the IO from Apollo X16, plus the added benefit of having the eight built-in mic pre's from the Apollo X8P, which would then theoretically, let's say I had 16 external pre's on the X16, gives me a total of 24 mic pre's. So that's where I was. So even though I don't have a total of 16 external mic pre's, I want to at some point. So that was my thoughts about using those two interfaces. Now, I recently picked up the Universal Audio 4710. So basically this thing comes with four channels of both mic pre's, which have what they call their Twinfinity circuit, where you can go between solid state and tube mic pre's. Right? And then you also have the 1176 style compressor on each channel. So if you want, you can have some compression going in. But the way that this unit is set up is you have your four mic ends on the back of the unit. You also have four line ends, so you can just patch in and use the compressor if you want. And then there's also an extra four line ends on the back. So let's say I had four channels of another mic pre that I could go line out of those pre's, go to the line inputs of the 710 on channels five through eight. That brings the 710 unit now to an eight channel unit, right? So you're going in line in from some other mic pre's that you have. That is now eight channels on one unit. So how does this work? You can go ADAT out of the four 710. So let's simplify this. My Apollo X8P has eight built-in mic pre's and eight analog line ins and outs, right? What's cool about this, one, is you can plug in eight XLR lines to go to the mic pre's and simultaneously plug in two DB25s to the analog line ins and line outs. And in console, you can actually toggle between the two so you can use both the mic pre's and the line inputs simultaneously and just switch back and forth in console. That is very cool. That is super well thought out. So good job Universal Audio on that. But since the Apollo X8P also has the ADAT expanded inputs on channels nine through 16, I've got my 4710, max it out. I'm using the four channels on the 4710. So in theory, let's say I get another four channel unit and I go line output of that unit into line input of the 4710. I've got the four mic pre's on the 4710. I'm going ADAT out. That's eight external pre's going through one ADAT cable into the ADAT input of the X8P. Are you, are you with me? <laughs> that is a total of 16 channels on the Apollo X8P. So that 4710 not only gives me the four channels of mic pre's and compression, but you're also just getting an expanded eight channels that you can put into your Apollo X8P. So now my setup essentially went from what I thought would be a 24 input setup to a 32 input setup where I can toggle between all analog external gear and built-in pre's on the Apollo, which is just so cool maybe it's just me and i'm just connecting the dots but that is so rad i i mean 
you guys have probably seen the channel or, or maybe you haven't seen the channel. I love the Apollo interfaces. I've made several videos about them and I've been using them for years at this point and I'm still learning <laughs> still. I mean, it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that I <laughs> don't know, but between everything that you can do with these interfaces with console console, that's a whole rabbit hole of stuff that there's just so many amazing features. And then now adding in the 4710, it's so like the, it's the, it's the ecosystem kind of like Apple, right? Where you got that and then you can go in ADA. I mean, I guess you could go in ADA into anything else, but man, that is really, really well thought out. So now I guess I've got a 32 IO system, which I didn't, I didn't think I, I, that, that's cool. I'm happy about that. So let me know, did you already know this? Do you have a setup like this? Also, what are the next four pre's do you think I should add in? So, so far I've got the, the 73's from Warm Audio. I've got 10 channels of those. I now have four channels of the 4710. That's 14 channels of external pre's. Uh, let me know what you think the next four should be because that'll put me at, gosh, what? Carry the two divided by six. That'll put me at 18 external pre's, which is pretty rad. I'll link the 4710 down in the description as well as the interfaces if you guys want to check them out for yourself. Thank you guys for watching. Also, let me know if you guys like this shorter dosage of gear style content. I, you know, I'm just experimenting over here, having fun. Uh, anytime I learn something cool like that, I always want to make a video, but it's hard to like edit and put all these out. So I figured I'd make this one a little bit more short for you and uh, digestible. Let me know what you guys think. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. All right. Bye.